I want us to pray for Australia. We need to pray. In this year, they're going to have a lot of bad weathers that will cause a lot of floods in Australia, damaging a lot of properties and a few lives. There will be record-breaking floods, serious floods. Prime Minister will today visit flood-ravaged communities in Western Australia's north to assess the damage from the record-breaking disaster firsthand. Let's go live now to Jack Hahn in Broome. Jack, this inundation has been devastating for so many in the Kimberley. Well, it certainly has, Lara. Good morning to you. This has been described as Western Australia's worst flooding on record. The Premier cutting short his holiday to travel to Broome today, expected to join forces with the Prime Minister travelling 400 kilometres into the heart of the outback, which is the epicentre of this emergency. More than 300 people have been rescued and countless more lives saved. But this morning, the attention turns to the rebuild, which could take months, if not years, a thought too much to bear for some. God loves Australia. I'm telling you something. And, and, there, and there are so many people in Australia that are calling upon the name of God. And because of that, God loves Australia. And we can pray for Australia. People in the Kimberley are experiencing the worst flooding Western Australia has ever seen. This situation is still changing and is proving to be extremely challenging for residents in the region. Floodwaters in Fitzroy Crossing have peaked now at 15.81 metres. Uh, river levels are now rising further downstream at Nookumba, Luma and Wollair. There will be record-breaking floods, serious floods. The Prime Minister will today visit flood-ravaged communities in Western Australia's north to assess the damage from the record-breaking disaster firsthand. God loves Australia. And we can pray for Australia.